The Barefoot College in Rajasthan, India is used to accomplishing the impossible. In an area where nearly half of all men and 80% of all women are illiterate, the college has become a major part of the population's life. It explores new and old ways of working and has rebuilt a sense of community and greater self-reliance. Started in 1972 in the poor village of Talonia, the college's first building was an old tuberculosis sanatorium. Some of the first programs developed were solar technology, health, education, handicrafts, and agriculture. And over the 25 years, we've tried many, many ideas which have generated from the community and incorporated it into our uh, planning process in the Barefoot College, and there are lots to show. The night schools, for instance, the Barefoot College, the Barefoot teachers, the Barefoot chemists, the Barefoot engineers, solar engineers, all these are people who are not really paper qualified to do the job. Indeed, there are few textbooks at this college. It's an informal, hands-on training program which builds on the oral tradition of Rajasthan. People learn by doing. The aim of the college is to demystify technology and knowledge with practical application. And it's working. Programs in solar energy and rainwater harvesting have had a monumental impact on the area. But this is a place where you try crazy ideas. I don't want any conventional idea, anything boring that someone has tried somewhere else. It may have worked somewhere else, so what? This is a place where you try something original, anything original. Anything that someone says is impossible, is possible here. The Barefoot College has expanded to 13 other states in India, and it also monitors over 40 daycare centers and four day schools, where a formal curriculum is taught. The Barefoot College program can be applied anywhere where there is a need to build self-esteem and self-reliance. Sustainable water management, energy use, deforestation, escalating poverty, unemployment, and reduced health care are problems found all over the world. This report was prepared by Elise Gersten and Vladislav Udachin for the CNN World Report. <laughs>